Hello. Alright, uh, in this lesson, we are still talking about the absolute inequality. About there are more dealers both sides. Can you see? There are more dealers both sides. So, means that the def basic definition, you can't apply basic definition for this case because basic definition only have modulus one side, right? So, for this method, we have special method. We're using squaring both sides, all right? Squaring both sides. So, now, if we look at our previous video, you understood that the modulus of uh, 2x minus 3, you can rewrite as square root of 2x minus 3. To the power of 2, right? Based on the definition that modulus of x is the square root of x to the power of 2. So, what happens if you square the modulus, right? Uh, so, it's the same as you square this whole thing. The square root and the square will eliminate, will become 2x minus 3 to the power of 2, right? Uh, so, you understood this concept, right? So, now I'm going to squaring both sides, right? Squaring both sides for this case. Uh, I'm going to squaring both sides. Uh, I do squaring both sides. So if you 5 to the power of 2, don't forget the coefficient of the modulus you have to square, right? Because you square everything. So 5 square, you have 25, all right? 25. Then this modulus square will become 2x minus 3 square uh, because of that concept, right? So greater than 4 also have to be square 16 and x minus 5 also square. Uh, this is how you uh, solve absolute inequality that involving modulus both sides. So now you have 25, expand the bracket. So 4x square, 2, 2, 4, 4, 3, 12x plus with 9, greater than 16, 16, x to the power of 2 minus 10x plus 25, right? Uh, minus 10x plus 25. So, uh, all right, then you expand, you have 100x squared, 100x squared, minus with 12 times 25, 12 times 25, yeah, you have 300, the number quite big, plus with 9 times with 25, you have 2, 2, 5, greater than 16x to the power of 2, minus with 10 times 16, you have 160x, plus with 25 times with 16, and you have 400, right? So I bring everything over to the right-hand side. 100x squared minus 16x squared, 100 minus 16, you have 84, right? 84x to the power of 2, Negative 300, negative 300, uh, negative 300 plus with 160, you have negative 140, negative 140x, 0x, 225, 225 minus with 400, uh, you have negative 175 greater than 0, right? Uh, so I think you can divide everything by uh, 14, if I'm not mistaken. Can divide by 14. Oh no, you divide everything by 7, all right, by 7. This is all the factor, it's, it's all the multiple of 7. So 84 divided by 7, you have 12x to the power of 2. Uh, this one you have 20, I see. Uh, 7, you have 20x. And 175 divided by 7, you have 25, okay, greater than 0. Now, I have already simplified the uh, crowd. Uh, the most important thing is you use the correct method. You're doing squaring both sides, and this is all just uh, basic, basic quadratic inequality, all right? So, okay, you factorize. Then you have uh, 12x squared. So the number is too big, it's for better for you to use calculator to help you to calculate, right? So you have a polynomial, it's like 2 and 12, negative 20, negative 25, all right, 5 over 2 and 5 over 6. So it means that you have 6 and 2, all right, 6 and 2. So, and you do it as 5, 5, 
5, 5, 5, 6, 30, 5, 6, 30, 2, 5, 10, 2 times 5 is 10, 5, 6, 30. So, and the number is negative here, right? Negative, so I put negative here because negative 30, negative 30 plus with 10, X, you have negative 20, right? So then, uh, same thing happened, you, you're you using the quadra, uh, graphical approach, uh, so you sketch, then you have negative 5 over 6, negative 5 over 6, and 5 over 2, right? Uh, so, then this is uh, empty circle, not included, not included. Uh, greater than 0 is the curve above the x-axis, this region, right? The, the curve, the curve very far, right? It's keep expand. So, then your x, your solution for x will be uh, x less than negative 5 over 6 or x greater than 5 over 2. So this is the solution for this absolute inequality. Alright, you can always try the values. Uh, you can try to put uh, 5 over 2, 2.5. You can put 3, 4, 5 or you can put uh, negative 1, negative 2 to test whether satisfied the inequality or not. Is it, if when you put the value inside here, is it greater than the right hand side? If this is Co uh, if this is a correct solution solution for this uh, inequality, then the values that inside the range must satisfy the inequalities.